Good morning to all of you. I am Romana Diana Castillo, and you can call me Teacher Ardy. Yes, and the uh, lesson for today is story writing. First of all, we have to explain the contents of this lesson. Okay, what will you learn in this lesson? First, uh, you will know about what are stories. Second, you will discover uh, the story genres. And lastly, you will be able to define and learn about the elements of a story. Okay, stories. Of course, when we write stories, stories are mostly from the imagination of writers. And every writer has uh, different imaginations on, on their own. Okay. That's uh, that's how we do it. Okay, before I teach you how to write stories, you have to know first, what are stories? Of course, stories are a series of imaginary events or real history that are written or spoken for entertainment. History is also, of course, uh, a story as well, but uh, history is what happens every day in our lives as well. Current events are also history. And without the written language, we will never know whatever happened in the past before. And yes, history are stories as well. Okay, the most famous playwright in Elizabethan era or the first Elizabethan era is William Shakespeare. Uh, he wrote the Romeo and Juliet, Merchant of Venice and Hamlet. Those are one of his uh, famous works before. And yes, he is a playwright, so Playwriting is actually like script writing, but for the stage. Okay. Now let's discuss the Shakespearean genres. First is tragedy. Tragedy always ends sadly. And comedy, comedy uh, always ends happily. And yes, the comedy here is different from what we know about the comedy in our day right now. And what's the reason why I wrote, I wrote that it is a Shakespearean genre? It is because he was the one that uh, made stage play very popular up until today, okay? He wrote so many stories in his day and that popularized uh, literature today. And Shakespeare is one of the famous English, uh, English playwrights in his day. And if it's also better to tell you that he also created a lot of words before and his language is very different from the English we know today. Okay. Now let's discuss about the modern genres. Of course, these are the six modern genres that we know today. And the six modern genres also have their own uh, subgenres. First is romance or love story. Two is action, three adventure, four fantasy, five comedy, six historical fiction, and yeah, those are the modern genres today. And I will be discussing more about it in the next videos next time. Okay. 
now that I have discussed with you the genres, let me discuss briefly about the elements of fiction. Characters, plot, point of view, setting, style, and theme. Characters are the doers inside the story. Without them, the plot won't move. The plot is the event of the story. Point of view is the writer's way of narrating his own or her own story. Setting, setting is the place of the story. Style is the writer's way of writing his or her story. He could use figurative speech, his own uh, language, uh, and yes, it is just his way how he will handle, how he will discuss his own story. And lastly, the theme is the moral of the story. It is the reason why the, the writer wrote his fiction, okay? Now we will be discussing more about the plot in the next slide, okay? Let me give you the plot diagram. Okay, every story has a beginning. And as a writer myself, I want to advise other writers out there that the beginning is very crucial. It is the part where you have to hook your own story and your own readers before they actually go to read rising action or the events before they read what happens at the turning point of the story. Climax is the turning point of the story. And yes, climax is also the goal of the story. And lastly, after a character or the main characters go to the climax, climax now goes to the falling action or the events after the turning point happened. And as the story ends, we will now know if it will end sadly or happily. And that's the conclusion or end of the story. Now, now that you have, you already know, uh, how to plot the story. You already know the elements of fiction and a few genres of the fiction. Now let's discuss why do we write stories? These are just a few uh, reasons why people write stories, but all of us have different reasons why we write stories. Yes, uh, as a writer myself, I write stories to uh, tell you what I have in my imagination and improve my imagination myself. And also it is a wish fulfillment sometimes. And I just wanted to share whatever I have in my mind to other people. But some people wanted to write stories to record historical events and tell them, tell other people specific events. Okay. Now that's the end of this lesson and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you.